Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying all the videos that I am uploading. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to click the bell icon. You will get all my future videos if you click the bell icon. So today I am back with another problem from Lead Code Design Underground System. So implement the class underground system that supports three methods. Check in. It has three parameters, ID, station name, and T time. So a customer with ID card equal to ID gets in the station, station name at time T. A customer can only be checked into one place at a time. So that's the constraint. So customer cannot be checked into multiple places at the same time, right? So check out. A customer with ID card equal to ID gets out from the station station name at t so it it also has three parameters right id station name and t so basically a person who has checked in at one station has to check out at another station before checking in at another station so that's the constraint here right so you have to check in at a station and check out at another station before checking in in at some other station so it's like that and the third uh, method that we need to implement is written the average time to travel between station start station and end station the average time is computed from all the previous traveling from start station to end station that happen directly call to get average time is always valid so this is so that there will not be any invalid calls as per uh, the definition here so you can assume that all calls to check in and check out methods are consistent that is if a customer gets in at a time t1 at station at some station then it gets out T2, then T2 is always greater than T1. So all events happen in chronological order. So basically, um, check in time and check out time. So check out time will be always greater than the check in time. So that's the constraint, right? So otherwise, we'll have like negatives uh, and all things could happen, right? So here he's guaranteeing that the check out time will be always greater than check in time, right? So here, the thing is, we need to implement these three, right? these three methods so um, so check in and check out are straightforward right so you have um, you are given with an id and a station name and the time so you check in and the checkout is you remove that person from that um, right because he has already checked in and checked out so so once he's checked out he's no longer in that need to be in that uh, uh, data structure so he'll he'll be going out so, but the thing is, if you want to calculate the average time, right, between the start station and end station, you need to keep track of the how much time each person took from uh, start station to end station. So, so we are not directly given the start station and end station, but we have to infer, right? So, check in at some station and check out at some station. So, that means this is check in is a start station that you need to understand and check out is the end station you need to understand, right? So, between those two, you you subtract these times, right? The time that he checked in, and uh, checked out minus checked in. So that is the time for one passenger, right? So get average time is across all the people who have traveled between those same destinations, right? So for that purpose, right? Um, I have created two placeholder classes, right? So one is a passenger class where um, it keeps track of the uh, passenger when he has entered into or checked into a city at what time. So to keep track, keep track of the two pieces of information, right? At what time and station name. So for that, I have created a placeholder class, which is called passenger. And uh, to keep track of the averages, right? I have another class where it keeps track of the number of people uh, who travel and the time, the cumulative time uh, they have spent in traveling, right? So the cumulative time spent in traveling from station A to station B. So finally, when you want to get the average time, right? So you just divide the cumulative uh, time by the number of people who traveled that time, right? That's simple. So for that purpose, so I have these two classes, passenger is holding the information as city and time and averages. This is holding the total time and total count, right? So averages. So finally, when you return, 
uh, what is the average right so you sub, uh, divide the total time by total count of pa passengers who traveled between those two um, destinations right stations so i create two maps here so what is passenger map and the averages map right so initialize in the underground system um, constructor okay so when a passenger checks in all you need to do is add his him into passenger map with since you know his unique id right so id and uh, create a new passenger with a station name and t right so that that's all you need to do in the check-in right you don't need to do anything else right as we are guaranteeing you cannot check in at multiple stations right so that's the constraint anyway so that's good enough for check-in for checkout right so we get the person right passenger and remove that fellow from the passenger map because he is checking out he checked out right so he don't need to be in the passenger map anymore so once he checks out so what we need to do is essentially we need to keep track of the average time between the time he entered the station versus exit the different station so now so uh, to keep track of the average maps right so we keep the from and to from to is the city where he started and the city where he ended right so we uh, call i'm calling that as a from and to and average map if there is uh, if there is no uh, no there's no value created for for that uh, route right but station a to station b then we just create create that and add with the new averages as zero zero and zero so that means nobody has traveled yet so and what we are adding is the cumulate the time spent between stations station a and station b so you subtract t minus the time where he checked in right and increment the total count so that's what you are doing at the checkout so this is good enough for checkout so we removed and we are trying to calculate uh, we are trying to add the total time and increment the person count right so that's what we are doing here and when you want to get the average time right so as we know the average map the key is the string the string is found with the two station names right the start station name and end station names. here also start station and end station right so you form the key and return since since we are uh, guaranteed all the calls to get average time is valid right you don't have to verify whether this destination i mean this route is existing or not because we are guaranteed so from the average map you go find try to find it and divide the total time by the total count that's it so that is the answer that you are going to return for get average time so with those steps we have uh, fulfilled the requirement of three methods right so just to recap right check in is just you add that person with the timestamp into the map and check out you remove that person and calculate the uh, uh, add instead of calculate right just add the total time and total count so that when somebody asks for average right you just do the division of total time with the total count and return that that's it so hope you understood the solution if you like please share this video among your friends and also don't forget to subscribe the, to the channel and also click the bell icon so that you get all the future video updates i'll be back very soon with another problem from leak code if you are looking for one on one coaching session or uh, interview interview help or interview guidance or one on one mock interviews please leave your email in the comment section we i'll get back to you as soon as i can i'll be back very soon with another lead code problem thank you for watching bye